Welcome to the 2024 home office tour. So starting with the desk, here we have a custom PC build. I have a RTX 3070 Ti in there. Um, i7 processor. I don't remember all the specs, but built it as a gaming PC. I end up not gaming as much anymore, so eh, whatever. But it does the job for video editing, which I'm more into now. Um, on the desk, I'm using the MX Keys keyboard. This is really, really fantastic. Highly recommend. Paired with that is the MX Master 3. Uh, I believe this is just the 3, not the 3S. Uh, also, really, really good mouse. Highly recommend. Uh, before I started using the MX Master mouses, I would get uh, wrist pain with this ergonomic shape. That went away, so highly recommend those. Also, on the desk is a stream deck. I use this mostly uh, in Discord and just as a hotkey button. Uh, just a standard Asus uh, 2K monitor. Uh, nothing special about it. Sitting up here is R2-D2 guarding the Nintendo Switch dock. Uh, that's also connected to the monitor as well. Next to that is the, the Nuvo Novo uh, Sand Trooper helmet. Uh, highly recommend this piece. Really, really good quality. Um, I know Novos, the company that the, new, the Nuvo Novo came out of the ashes of, had some issues in the past with uh, delivery and stuff, but I think it's they've really cleared that up, and I really like the quality of this. Um, if you want uh, another option, look at RS Prop Masters. They also have a helmet that um, supposedly both them and the Nuvo Novo took uh, references from the actual molds. Uh, so as you can see, this thing is not symmetric at all. Um, it has inconsistencies in it, um, but that's how the original helmets were, so I really like that. And that's just sitting on top of a file cabinet. Underneath there is my comics. If we move up above this wall, we have my autograph. So we have Sam Witwer, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor. Uh, this was a photo op with me and Obi-Wan. All of these were from Star Wars Celebration uh, 2022 in Anaheim. In the centerpiece, right above the whole desk setup, is the Beskar Skull from The Mandalorian. This is a Regal Robot piece. Uh, it is now sold out. You can't buy it anymore. Uh, they do have a mini magnetic version that you can buy, but this large-scale one uh, is sold out. So if you want it, I, you'll have to look on the uh, secondary marketplace, but... This looks really, really good. I like it just sitting over the middle of the desk, sort of like how they had it over the entranceway. Moving over to this group of pictures, we have Anthony Daniels, uh, signed Otto, Ahsoka Tano, Ashley Eckstein, and Hayden Christensen. So all those are paired together. If we move over... We have a Yoda print. This is called Luminous Beings, I believe. Uh, this is by, I think his first name is Jerry. Last name is Vanderstelt. Uh, really, really good artist. He also does some Lord of the Rings prints that are really, really nice. This came from Sideshow. I bought the framed version. Uh, really like it. I, I wish it had a non-glare uh, glass, but, you know, can't be uh, too picky about that as it came framed from them. Um, but it's really, really good. Love, love his art. Um, lots of detail going to that. Moving over, up top here, we have Yoda. This is a 1-6 scale statue by Gentle Giant. Uh, really like the colors on this. Um, these 1-6 statues from, uh, Gentle Giant and the 1-7th ones, I think are really good value for the money. Um, they're not as good on the humans as hot toys, like in the face portraits and stuff, but with the aliens and helmeted uh, troopers and characters, they're really, really good, and I think they get away with the, uh, the faced versions as well. So, 
have Yoda up here. Uh, I like this better than just getting the Hot Toys one. Uh, I was never going to really pose Yoda in this in multiple different scenarios, and this comes with a really cool base. And yeah, I like how he looks. Moving down, we have Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers. These are the Galaxy Edge versions. I just have them on a clear acrylic base. Moving down, we have three of my favorite pieces in the entire collection. These are the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsabers. So we have on the bottom here, this is his episode one lightsaber and sort of episode two. I think there were some subtle differences with the episode two version. Uh, this is from Corbanth. This is an empty version. Uh, you can, I could install this with electronics and have it be a real lights working lightsaber, but um, I'll probably just leave it for display. Above that is the Obi-Wan Kenobi show lightsaber. I'm using this sort of as that and the episode three uh, stand in. This is from uh, Roman's Props. Uh, he does great work. Lots of good Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, lightsabers. He also does um, some Luke's, uh, Vader's. Um, really, really enjoyed his, uh, enjoy his works. Really high quality. Everything was shipped well. And then above that, this is a episode four Ben Kenobi lightsaber. This um, was from a studio called, I think, SA Studio. I think it was the precursor to uh, MX Master. Uh, props, uh, the very expensive savers that everyone wants. I probably said that wrong, and I'll quote that in the correct name there. But those are my Obi-Wan Kenobi savers all displayed. Moving down. So here we have the Luke displays. We have the new uh, version of Luke on Bespin from Hot Toys on his base. I don't have it turned on at the moment. Um... But that does light up. And next to that is the Romans Props Episode 5 Luke Saber. Uh, to me, this was sort of the the quintessential Luke moment, uh, at least to me, in Star Wars, him fighting Vader. So this was the version I wanted to pick up of him. On the bottom here, we have the Mandalorian helmet. This is the Hasbro Black Series version. I have seen the Anovos version of this helmet. Um, they're very, very similar in just sitting on the shelf quality, I would say. Uh, the Innovos one, uh, does look much more comfier to wear if you wanted to actually wear it. Um, it was fully lined on the inside. This has some padding, but it's really more of a toy. Um, but it looks really, really good on the shelf, um... They have slightly different paint colors schemes, but I think they both uh, come across very well as what the character's helmet is. Um, and this is much, much cheaper. So I'm not sure if this is still out for sale, but if it is, I would definitely pick this up over the Innovos version if you're just wanting to uh, display it. I think it's just a better value. Moving over on the floor is... One of my favorite artists, uh, one of my favorite prints from that artist, this is a Dan Mumford print. Uh, this is a Battle on Hoth. I forget what the name of this is. But it is currently sitting on the floor because I'm not sure where the hanging on the wall, but I still want it in the room. Um, so it's just kind of sitting here for now. Just love his style. Give you a close up of that. Moving over to the first detolf. So both of my detolfs are on these custom uh, risers to get them up off the floor so you can kind of see the bottom shelf better. These were custom built by me. They're a 2x4 or 1x4 frame. Uh, one's 2x4, one's 1x4, and they're just what I had available. Uh, the panels are all MDF, and they are then sanded, sealed, and painted. The light is a Philips Hue light, uh, just so I can change the colors whenever I'm feeling uh, more than just white. And it's a clear, opaque, not clear, it's an opaque acrylic panel that's glued um, to this front panel here to give it that Star Wars uh, light panel look. This is actually 
A lot of people think I model this off the Death Star walls. Actually, my inspiration was the carbon freezing chamber. Uh, that pattern there on this row here. So it's actually more akin to the carbon freezing chamber design rather than the Death Star wall design. They're both similar, though. Moving up, we have a gentle giant piece. This is Leia from A New Hope. Um, I really think these are good. Um, a lot of people say that the likeness can sometimes not look there. I think they look a lot better in person than the pictures from that the gentle giant photographers take. I don't know why, just the camera doesn't do these statues justice. Um, but it's really beautifully painted. Love this piece. Um, this one is a 1-6 scale. Moving up, we have the Mandalorian shelf. So this is Mando from the season finale of the first season. We got Grogu there. And a one-to-one -one scale replica of the shifter knob, Grogu's little ball. Uh, I didn't pick up the Season 2 version of Mando just because it's very similar to this one. And I didn't feel the need to have multiple uh, one-six scale versions of Mando and Grogu. So this is the version I'm just sticking with for now. Moving up, we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi shelf. So on the left, we have the... Uh, Mythos Obi-Wan by Sideshow. Have him sort of in the stance. One thing to note, definitely use the stand with this guy. If he falls over, the little pieces on his backpack are brittle. Like you can see one of the fans is broken. I have it laying in there. I just haven't taken the time to glue it back on yet. Um, I think it kind of just adds to it, though, because he is a desert nomad. On the right, we have the Hot Toys Obi-Wan from Episode 3. Uh, really, really, really enjoy these two pieces. I think they look fantastic. Up top, we have Rex and Ahsoka. So, have them both there. Sort of the Siege of Mandalore uh, type shelf here. Uh, I, I keep Ahsoka in this museum pose just because I don't want the shoulders or elbows to get damaged on her. And... Rex, I'll change up every now and then, but right now he's in his uh, sort of stereotypical dual pistol battle pose. We'll skip the middle for now, come over to the other detolf. On the bottom, we have two Stormtroopers. Uh, they're both the Mandalorian Season 2 Stormtrooper squad leader. Um, I just have one represented as a normal Stormtrooper and one as a squad leader. Gotta have some Stormtroopers in your Star Wars collection. Moving up, one of my favorite pieces from Hot Toys. Uh, really well done. This is Cad Bane in Toto 360. Uh, you may notice that some of these bases are different. Uh, the ones with the clear acrylic are from a Etsy shop called Display Heroes. Uh, really like their work. I like the clear acrylic because it's less distracting than the black stands. I think it just gives off a better look. And I don't like the flight stands that some of these figures come with. Uh, like uh, Cad Bane here. Uh, just to me, I don't like how it grabs. I feel like it may damage the figure over time. So for those, I typically get uh, a Display Heroes stand. And uh, they're really well done. He 3D prints these and then paints them. Uh, moving up, we have the Death Trooper, one of my favorite uh, newer Star Wars Trooper designs. Uh, this is from The Mandalorian. Not This is not the Rogue One version, but uh, just love the design of the Death Trooper, so had to have one of those. And up top here, we have Darth Maul from the Siege of Mandalore. Uh, I missed out on the other moles. Um, he does have his various issues that... I'm sure you'll see in various reviews, but he does the job for me. Uh, coming back to the center, we have a print from Bottleneck Gallery. This is episode Phantom Menace. Uh, basically like a movie poster. This is a 36 by 24 print, so it's really, really big. Have it in a matte uh, frame, so the glare 
Uh, it looks worse on camera than it is in person, but if this was uh, gloss, it'd be really bad. I uh, really like it. I have the second uh, episode on order, and the third one has not come out yet, but I would like to get that one as well. Just really, really enjoy uh, this art style here. Moving down, um, I will say excuse that these cables are not managed. I just put these lights in today, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and film this. We have a cube storage shelf with multiple uh, displays in them. So first we have Ray from The Force Awakens in BB-8. The first half of The Force Awakens up to basically Starkiller Base is some of my favorite Star Wars uh, that has come out. I thought that was exceptional. Um, and then them just rehashing some ideas kind of uh, threw that off for me. But I really wanted a piece that represented that just because I loved that first half of that movie so much. And yeah, so we have Rey in her scavenger appearance and BB-8 down there just because I love BB-8. Moving over, this is one of my first, I think this was my first statue ever. This is the Hawkbat Battalion clone from Gentle Giant. Uh, this is from the Star Wars The Clone Wars 2003 animated series. Uh, if any of you remember that. So, really, really enjoy that piece. This whole thing got like one second of screen time, but hey, it looked cool. Here is another Gentle Giant piece. Um... This is a 1 7th scale statue of Bausch Leia. Uh, she does come with two different right hand options and two different head sculpts. So you can put just the helmet on and then have the right hand hold a detonator if you want. Or you can have it in this uh, pose. So I'd have her uh, unhelmeted and holding the helmet. Thought that looked really cool. As you can see, it's not Hot Toys quality, but it's still, I think... Uh, decent enough from how far you're looking away. Uh, I forgot to mention this is also 1 7th scale. Over here we have my favorite side character from Star Wars. This is Hondo Anaka. Um, this is the only black series I have displayed. Um, and then I have a signed card from the uh, voice actor Jim Cummings. And then a little Funko Pop. I do have General Giant has a mini bust of Hondo. That's out for pre-order. I do have that on pre-order as well, and I'll add that to his little display. Coming down, down here we have a General Giant uh, minibus of Grand Admiral Thrawn, and then I have another signed autograph card by Lars Mikkelsen, the voice actor and the real-life actor in the Ahsoka series. Moving over, we have a 332nd clone trooper. This is the... Hot Toys version, uh, 501st Deluxe. Next to him, I have Captain Vaughn. And then, the only non-Star Wars thing in the collection room, we have Logan. This is a one-tenth statue from Iron Studios. I do have a little damage on one of his claws. Um, it came that way. I'm not sure if it was me unpacking it. That did that, or it was damaged while packing. Not sure, but it's subtle enough that I just lived with it. Uh, Wolverine is my favorite superhero, and his Logan appearance is uh, my favorite, not in the costume. Uh, so, really glad I had that statue. Up here we have my Funko Pop dedication to A New Hope. So we have C-3PO, R2-D2... Chewie, Han, Leia, Luke, Vader, Obi-Wan, and a Sand Trooper. These are, besides Hondo, the only Funkos left displayed in the collection. I still have some, they're just not displayed. I just feel like they don't fit the room as well as um, the statues and 1-6 scale pieces. Here I have two comic books. Uh, these are in comic book cases. That you can get and sort of display the front covers at art. So this is a Vader uh, variant. I think this is a variant of red, black, and white uh, number one. Darth Vader red, black, and white number one. And then this is an Emperor print from 
basically depicting him in Return of the Jedi. Uh, this is a variant of one of the Hidden Empire covers, I believe. And then sitting in the floor for now is Ben Kenobi. This is a General Giant 1-6 scale statue. Normally I have him up on top of here, but since he's all alone, it kind of looked weird. So I had just have him sitting in the floor for now. Oh, on the door here, this is my Star Wars Celebration lanyard from when I went in 2022 to Anaheim. So hopefully we'll add Japan here next year and have that up there as well. And yeah, so this is the collection room. Give you one last tour around. This is the collection room, home office. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do use a secret lab. This is an Omega chair. Uh, I'll probably change this maybe later this year. It's starting to wear. I have some a split here. And I may go with a Herman Miller just because it's better for your back. Uh, not to say that this isn't a comfortable chair, but I want something probably a little healthier for me. And yeah. Let me know what you think of the home office. Uh, let me know if there's anything you would do differently. And uh, hope this inspires all y'all to have your home office or collection room uh, give you some inspiration, some ideas for yours. And yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And may the force be with you.